When they've done the research on, on cell phones, the video gaming to start with, they said to these kids, hey, listen, um, here's how it's going to go. You guys want to make some money? What do you think the kids said? Yeah, let's make some money. Yeah. They said, okay, well, we're going to get you involved in a video game. And then we're going to ring a bell. And you have five seconds to stop. If you stop in five seconds, we'll give you a dollar. And we're just going to go as long as you, however long it went. Do you know that none of the children, none of them were able to stop? That's how, that's how addictive it is. So the research shows then that when you begin to blow somebody up or you shoot someone or you get a text, you know, that's important text to you, there's a release of dopamine in your brain. The pleasure chemical, the reward chemical is released. But if you're overdoing it and you're playing a lot of video gaming and you're blowing something, something up or blowing someone up or breaking through some level or doing something, the reward systems are being activated in your brain and you start releasing too much dopamine all at once. And that burst of dopamine into the brain is more than the receptor sites have to handle it. So then the over amount of dopamine is not being absorbed by those receptors. The receptors close down. It's too much. They become desensitized. It's like living with a spouse that always yells at you. They got to yell a little louder to get your attention the next time. You need a little bit more now to turn it on the next time. Does that make sense? So then the pleasure, chem the pleasure centers start recalibrating to a higher and higher level. It takes more now to turn them on. You have to do a bigger burst to get them stimulated. Are you with me still? So the, high, the pleasure centers start recalibrating to such a high level that now the person needs the game, needs the phone to feel something, to make that feeling because in the absence of any stimulation, they experience a loss of pleasure. You understand what I'm saying? They become desensitized to pleasure. So a walk with your dog. Go tell a kid to go see their grandmother. <clears throat> Watch a sunset. Just way too slow. They're overstimulated. Are you with me still? And that's called adhedonia. You can't find pleasure from anything. Adhedonia. What happens is, this is the scary part, is that learning should be a reward by itself. But if you just blew up a nation and you're going to school and your brain is shut down, it can't get stimulated by information, there's only one way you're going to stimulate it, and that's you've got to arouse it. How do you arouse it? Get in trouble. Act out. Do something dumb. Get some attention. Just so you can arouse the brain. The child doesn't know they're doing releasing epinephrine and norepinephrine just for an arousal. But they're doing it, and when they do that, they're actually shutting blood flow further down in the forebrain. Now, here's the problem. When that child gets older, when they face challenging situations in their life, they're going to look for something else to make the feeling go away, and it's going to be something bigger. Do you understand what I mean? They're not going to want to realize they can do it themselves. They're just going to go to another chemical, something bigger. So then, <clears throat> that, that, that dependency that's created from technology has to be inhibited at certain times. And, I, and now in my home, after a certain time, I put my phone in, the, in my bedroom. This doesn't mean I'm, if I, if I want to use my phone, I'm going to leave the rest of the house and go to my bedroom after a certain time because I've been making thousands of decisions every day. I just want to be able to disconnect from technology. Are you with me still? And so then... If you keep shifting your attention from one text to another text to another text to another email to another Facebook, what are you practicing? You're actually practicing a short attention span. And the rush of the, rush of the dopamine combined with a short attention span is, becomes a very short attention span. Are you with me still? And now the person doesn't want to learn. They do want to be stimulated. I draw a picture and it says, where you place your attention is where you place your energy. Outer world of physical reality, inner world of thoughts and feelings. And then I draw a line where your attention goes every day. Your cell phone, your WhatsApp, your LinkedIn, your Instagram, your Facebook, your pictures that you put on Facebook, 
you know, your email, your computer, your other email, your job, your co-workers, your boss, your enemies, your ex, your, your husband, your wife, your kids, your, you know, all your, this is your face, your pain, your disease, your diet. That's where all people's attention is. Now, none of those things are bad. But there's a neurological network assigned to every one of them. And when you learn how to disconnect from your cell phone, now you're saying that it no longer owns you. You use it as a tool instead of as a something that stimulates you. But we can't lose our connection to the earth. We can't lose our connection to one another when we're sitting in the presence. I mean, I don't know about you, but in the United States sometimes, I can't believe I'm sitting in a restaurant and there's four people sitting at a table and all four of them are on their phones. And they're having dinner together. I'm thinking, wow, that must be a really deep, conversation you guys are having over there are you texting one another what are you doing <laughs> sending each other links I mean connection is so important and physical connection is important so we have to balance it out and you can recalibrate those pleasure centers by finding pleasure in other things and there's nothing wrong with dopamine it's just that you can't overdo it because you you know you'll get kidnapped uh, you literally get kidnapped by technology we're victims to the very technology we created. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy if you think about it. So you got to be able to use it, but you got to be able to disconnect to it and, and stay in balance.